Hi, I'm Sam Turk and welcome to my two minute parasha. This week we'll speak about Rosh Hashanah and there is a verse from the book of Tehillim from Psalms that introduces the Torah reading. Ashrei ha'am yodei tru'ah. Praiseworthy or happy is the nation who knows the tru'ah, the sound of the shofar. Hashem ba'or panecha yalechu. Hashem, they will walk in the light of your countenance. And what is it about knowing the sound of the shofar that is so amazing that makes this happy nation walk in the light of Hashem? There are many great musical instruments and there are many beautiful sounds. What is it about knowing the sound of the shofar? Rabbi Moshe Feinstein says that the word yodea, to know, can also mean to love. We find, for example, in the book of Bereshit, that Hashem says about Avram Avinu, Yedativ l'mana she yitzavet banovet beitu acharav lelech b'derech Hashem. I love Avraham. I know him, but it really means I love him. Because I know that he will teach his generations after him the way of Hashem and to do tzedakah and mishpat, righteousness and justice. So to know also means to love in this context. And that, says Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, is the idea. Praiseworthy is a nation not who knows how to blow the shofar, but who loves the blowing of the shofar, who embraces the message. What is the message? The Rambam famously says, wake up sleepers from your sleep and dozers from your nap. And now he says, when it comes to waking up from a nap, that's, so to speak, relatively easy. After all, you only wanted to take a nap. Imagine you lie down to take a short nap because you know you've got to be up for a little, a little while later and you're in danger of oversleeping. Somebody comes and wakes you up. You're actually very pleased that they woke you up. But when it comes to a proper sleep, people don't usually like being woken up from a sleep. That's my sleep for the night. I wake up in the middle of the night. It can ruin, uh, ruin entire night's sleep, ruin the next day's work. We don't like being woken up from sleep. However, when it comes to the sleep that the Rambam is talking about, being asleep from the important things in life, being asleep from spirituality, being asleep from our mission in life and the people that we are supposed to be. Sometimes I just took a nap. You know what, Hashem? I've done a little bit. Just leave me alone for now. I'll be back tomorrow. Right? But then the shofar wakes you up and you say, actually, I can't be back tomorrow. I've got to be back today. To embrace that message, but even to embrace the message of sleep. Somebody who has gone away from the ways of the Torah, from the path of Hashem, somebody who has forgotten about who they should be to such an extent that it's like they're asleep when they get that wake-up call. Don't be distressed or disturbed or upset that your sleep and that your unconsciousness has been disturbed. But be like the people in this verse, the praiseworthy, happy people who love the sound of the shofar, who embrace that wake-up call and see it as a new opportunity to be the greatest and best people that they were meant to be. Shana Tovah.